even when Uganda People's Congress has been enjoying a certain degree of working relationship with the ruling national resistance movement that has seen some UPC members serve in the ruling government. The UPC president, Jimmy Akena, appears to be set to strain the relationship by taking on NRM at all levels. The UPC party president, Jimmy Akena, says he is ready to challenge NRM's Yoweri Museveni in the next polls, insisting that UPC is independent of NRM. We are running our own affairs. We have our own direction, we have our own hopes and aspirations, which we are intending to fulfill, and that's what we are going to do. Irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of the hurdles we find on the way, we are going to prepare as best as possible. The president-elect is holding... Akena, who is waiting to go through the internal party processes for him to be endorsed as the party's official flag bearer, says he's motivated to become president of the Republic of Uganda to pilot a different way of administration. Definitely, I'd like to see things done differently and in a way which involves the citizens and also improves the lives of the citizens. That is my point of view as a Kenna and also as UPC. The former first son claims Uganda under President Museveni is experiencing challenges of unequal distribution of resources. Divisionalism, a mess that he wants to immediately fix. There is um, so much in iniquity which has developed. There is a big divide between the rural economy or the rural um, livelihoods and the urban. And there's so much which needs to be addressed in a country which is so blessed with the natural resources which we have, uh, both climate, agricultural. However, political researchers Dr. Gerard Walulia and Dr. Patrick Wakida do not see Jimmy Akena and UPC making a political gain from their latest move. Uh, Uganda's politics uh, revolves around the personality. So uh, without that charming kind of personality, I think uh, he doesn't uh, seem to stand in uh, serious chances. So for you to say that now you are going to start to build UPC beyond here, majority of the members of UPC died. They are not there. I had my uncle who was a UPC member. He died. The younger generation of the Mavikes and the, 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 the Mbides and the, and the Mao are playing politics of survival. So you do not expect such to build a political organization. Dr. Walula adds that even with a level playing field, it will be a tall order for UPC, given that they have only 10 legislators in parliament. The choice of deciding to vie for presidency uh, is, is a kind of uh, risky choice for him because it would mean that he has to, uh, to lose the position of member of parliament, which is like his current job. The last time UPC fielded a presidential candidate was in 2011 under the then president, Olara Otuno. Richard Olwen, NBS, live at nine.